we have two high schools, two Catholic high schools in this area. And even the big cities like Allentown or Bethlehem, one school per it was a big Catholic area to begin with. And I guess in 1964, when they spun off Holy Name, the, the, uh, the amount of students that were here were just too big to accommodate the building. Or let's face it, uh, we're locked in this place. There's no way to expand the building. The two schools were actually the same tradition to start. And, you know, it's kind of become hated rivals after that, but friendly rivals. Central Catholic is just a huge mansion with kids in it. When you go to the library, which was a, a ballroom, or you go to the chapel, which was the billiards room, not many people can say they went to a high school like that. So I mean, there's just an aura in the school that you can that you just say, man, one of the wealthiest people in the county has lived here, and someone also died here. So I mean, it could be haunted. That's what people say. I never experienced being the ghost. But I mean, it's, it's different than just going to a Wilson or a Reading High. It's a totally different building. It's a nice house. <laughs> Reading candy maker William H. Luden became one of the world's richest men in the late 19th century due to the phenomenal success of his menthol cough drops. In the early 20th century, Luden built Bon Air, a 40-room mansion at Hill Road and Clymer Street for $750,000, more than $17 million in today's dollars. In 1939, he sold Bon Air to the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. A year later, it officially opened as Central Catholic High School. An expansion the following year added a gymnasium, a cafeteria, and nine classrooms. Uh, I saw an interesting quote the other day, and it really describes Central. It says, from the outside looking in, they'll never, uh, they'll never understand it, but from the inside looking out, we can't explain it. And that's pretty much what sums up Central Catholic, because Pretty much everybody here is a family, everybody knows each other, and people outside don't understand what we talk about. Look at the charters, a picture in your textbook, tell us where to go. Church and destroy missions. No, that's true, that's how they describe them. Did you hear that in biology sometimes? I was going to say, you need to sleep with them, that's where they are, the next place is doing the same. I don't know. Do we have to still finish the lab? Uh, no, we handed in yesterday, didn't we? Did we? do feel like a family in the figurative sense with your teachers and the other students who go here and the students who have graduated. You feel like a family because you have something to connect you to each other when there is nothing else that's in common. Father, son, spirit, no name is, I don't know who, always on that side. Who's no name? Oh, that's the, oh, that's the second part of yours. Part of One over 2.25 equals, now remember, since these are added, you can switch them around. Whatever, yeah, plus whatever theory. Yeah. Tradition for keeping of all of the things that we did have, plus I think it's just the atmosphere. It's very, very friendly, it's welcoming, it's open. Um, it's the layout of, of the building itself, which is kind of unique, with half of it being the mansion, half of it being added on to. And it just has its own character to it. And I think the kids get into the character of the building even a lot more than 
they really understand that they, they're doing it, that they think. <laughs> It's, it's really, really neat to go to school on something with so much history. The Marble Staircase is, of course, a big tradition here at Central. It originally was that all, only seniors could walk on it and no underclassmen. At Christmas time, they put their stockings on it, and it's something that I looked forward to because it's really neat, and it's, it's a great tradition to have. There was an underclassman, a sophomore, who, went, who walked down the staircase, and faculty called him and the rest of the student body made him clean one, one uh, block of the stairs with the toothbrush. This isn't a school, it's a community. The alumni, the current students, the teachers. Yeah, it's a school in the sense that we learn education, but at the same time, everybody's here for each other. Our spirit is just so strong. In 1961, Pope John XXIII split the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, creating the Diocese of Allentown. In 1964, the newly formed diocese opened Holy Name High School on the corner of East Wyomissing Boulevard and Parkside Drive South. Constructed to ease the overcrowding at Central Catholic, the school was populated with Central students who lived west of the Schuylkill River. Holy Name definitely is a family. Just like the classes, the teachers are so great. Some of my, like I met my best friends here. Holy Name, it's not that large of a school. It's a private school. All the teachers, the students to them were not just numbers that we need to score high on a standardized test so the school gets funding. All right, Joe. The teachers know us by name. They know the students. They, they understand, they work with us. Every teacher here has available personal time to spend with a student. And when that bond is formed, that's what makes a high school experience memorable. We don't have anything at school central does in the building. The building's not one of our traditions, it's just the things we do. With no room to expand beyond its 55,000 square feet, Central Catholic had reached an impasse. In 2007, the Diocese of Allentown appeared to have solved the problem, receiving approval to construct a 130,000 square foot building in eastern Berks County. The 108-acre property would include expanded parking, a football stadium, athletic fields, and tennis courts. But in October 2010, the diocese dropped plans for the new school, citing falling enrollment and a tightening credit market, and launched a study to determine the future of Catholic education in Berks County. On February 11th, students and faculty learned the results. After a combined 118 years, the schools would cease to exist. The student bodies would merge at the end of the school year, the Central Catholic building would close, and the Holy Name building would be transformed into Burke's Catholic High School. You know, the, the question of the two schools combining has been a question asked pretty much every year since I've been here. So, you know, when it actually came down to it, 
You know, now everybody's all ears wondering what's going to happen, how's it going to happen, who's going to do what. When I came, uh, it was like relief. Okay, we finally got it. It's, it's been out there for such a long time and now it finally did happen. I kind of knew it was going to happen, but, but when it does happen, it kind of hits close to home. Rumors had been going around for quite some time, but it was announced rather unexpectedly. The way they administered the news was kind of, I thought, a little upsetting because they kind of just gave us a letter and told us to read it, and then everybody found out and was just like, wow, just, it, it hurt. When we had gotten the letter saying that the school would be merging into Burke's Catholic, I was upset because one more year and I could have been a senior at Central and everything would have been great. I remember the day we all found out about the merger when the first letter came to us in class. Central got it like five minutes maybe before Holy Name did, but we all have friends that went to Central. So I remember sitting in my last period math class getting a text message from one of my friends because our teachers are even just like, what's going to happen? Does anybody know? And getting a te text message saying that the school, they're closing and it's going to be Burke's Catholic and everybody was just going crazy. I mean, walking down the hallway, you see teachers crying, you see students crying. That day was just, I mean, I'll never forget it because it didn't really affect me in the sense that I'd be going to the school. But I just remember the seniors that day were going crazy. We're the last class, finally. Like, so it was, it was very bittersweet hearing it because we were on the end of celebration, whereas everybody else was on the end of sadness and tears. There was a lot of emotion around the decision. I knew that. And these types of decisions anywhere in the country involve emotion. And um, that emotion is a good thing because it shows the depth of commitment, the depth of the quality experience that people have had in Catholic schools. I really found that emotion, even when it was a little volatile, to be very powerful and very instructive. It definitely made the rest of the year more exciting. Anytime we did something, it was, oh, we're the last ones to do this. I mean, everybody was just like, oh, this is the last Holy Name Student Council meeting. This is the last Holy Name prom. Everything just became a celebration. Everyone's working toward a common goal. Um, all the feeder schools are uh, will be now geared toward one place. You know, everybody in the county will be a, a, a future saint, and um, the parents don't have to choose anymore. Calling the announcement poorly planned and poorly communicated, alumni from both schools formed the group Save the Name, asking the diocese to suspend all merger-related decisions until their concerns were heard. There were a lot of unknowns, and part of the reason why we created the group Save the Name, because simple questions that we wanted the diocese to answer, like how much is the tuition going to be? You know, would, is there an opportunity for us to discuss this a little bit further, that the name might have been able to be blended so that you didn't lose uh, the whole identity of either school? There was definite emotion, you know, in terms of the name, and uh, I respect that emotion. I like that emotion. It shows the commitment. It shows the depth of the love for Catholic education that was part of their exp experience at Reading Central or Holy Name. What does Burke's Catholic really represent? I mean, it doesn't give you any type of holy name meant something because it was about the holy name of Jesus. And Central was really about the fact that the roots were in Reading, which is where it evolved from, from the Ludens. So you really lost that tradition and that history. I was in favor of it. I mean, you look around and you see things like Lancaster Catholic, Lebanon Catholic. It gives you an indication of where you're from. And it's also unifying. Whereas if we did something and chose a different name to it, you know, it may not be what they thought of they wanted to do in the first place, which is really to unify the schools. There were, you know, thoughts of various popes' names, uh, um, you know, various saints' names, but I think in the end we kept coming to Burke's Catholic as kind of a good strategic decision in terms of the merger of two schools, the need for a new identity, and the fact that we were really um, promoting Catholic education in, in Berks County in its entirety. We put the idea together of having a rally, which we held at the Inn at Reading. We got t-shirts created, we got these buck slips done, and the kids were wearing them at school. I mean, there was a real momentum and initiative, but uh, the reality is that the diocese has a lot more money 
and uh, people that, that, and they're the final decision makers. It grows on people, just like when Central was first named, it grew on people. And I can imagine 15 years from now, there's, there, there will be no issues about the name of the school. Holy Name and Central Catholic have the biggest rivalry, I think, in Berks County. And it's highly unlikely to have a high school rivalry as strong as the rivalry that we have because it's so old and just so passionate. Our kids, as, as players every year, we're excited about playing Central Catholic. We passed the Campbell Trophy, you know, between the two schools. So I always preach to my kids that it's a season in itself. It was truly one of those games where throw the records out the window. The Catholic community got excited about coming out and supporting those two schools because really there was, there was no loser. I mean, those two teams played. It was exciting. Whoever won the game, the student body rushed out on the field to take part in it. It was like a total school community thing. With both communities waiting to come out, especially a year when it went into overtime, it was exciting. The Holy Name Central game, you know, when I graduated in 1980, we were IC champs. And that game, it came down to playing Central Catholic and being at St. Lawrence Stadium and being a part of that. Holy Name didn't even have a stadium at that time. So that was a, that's a real loss because it wasn't about, you know, beating each other up, but it really was about the Campbell Trophy, who gets to lay stake to that for the year, and it brought a lot of the alumni together. Okay, Crosstown Rivals, and that's all it is. It's a rivalry. But I even heard from a lot of the kids, and they said, wow, you know, we're going to have some really good sports teams next year. A lot of different clubs and everything because the student population will be a lot bigger. I mean, that rivalry was always there, not just sports, but academics as well. The transition going from that rivalry to now we're one, most of that has happened already. It may not seem like merging schools is a big deal, but for us it really is because it's a tradition and traditions at both schools that are being broken. The alumni are so pretty much they are the foundation of the school and they just so have so much pride in the school and to see it close is just they can't even explain it. With only weeks remaining before its 71 year history came to an end, Central Catholic hosted Mansion Memories, giving alumni a chance to say goodbye. About 500 former students some coming from as far away as Virginia roamed the halls and classrooms and ascended the marble staircase one last time. She was a star athlete. Oh my God. Dancing, musician, I was in the I was doing the years. And this is the That's the balcony. I think this was like the art room or something. It's difficult to take, you know, so many years of tradition and try to merge that together without having one school or one uh, set of alumni or students feel like they're losing out. I mean, I've talked to many of my friends that are in junior class, and they by far are taking the worst of it. I mean, they've always wanted to graduate from Central Catholic. They would love the marble staircase and all those traditions and see that end. I mean, they'd have to be just sad. I believe that for the future generations, it'll be so much better and they will have so much more opportunities than they would have at either of the schools alone. We pray for your wisdom and insight as we begin our summer vacation. 
Keep us safe until we gather again as a student community. Amen. But I pray that you see them not as from the other school, but that in honesty and in truthfulness, you see them as part of your school, part of your family, part of your life. And if you do, then everything that Holy Name has been for the last 47 years will continue. Because Holy Name is a great place. And there is no reason why Burke's Catholic can't be greater. It was such a relaxed day. It was, it was happy and it was sad at the same time, but we kind of had a sense of understanding of what was going to happen when we came back after our summer break. Central Catholic, there is a tradition that has been going on forever that this, the junior class, as soon as the uh, assembly is over, they run to the marble staircase and walk up it because it's the first time that you are allowed to because that's a senior privilege. And this year, we had already been able to walk up this marble staircase but we did not let that stop us. By the power vested in me, by the state of Pennsylvania and the Diocese of Allentown, you are now our uprising senior. We all raced out of the gymnasium and up the marble staircase, but the only difference is that we didn't leave to go home. We stood on that marble staircase and pictures were being taken and it was cherishing the last of the legacy. I thought there was a beautiful balance to the graduations that showed, uh, on the one hand, the sadness of the end of these two beautiful traditions, but also the excitement and the hopefulness. assemble this evening to honor the 2011 graduating class of Holy Name High School, the final graduating class in the history of our school. So give us the influence of your Holy Spirit to be grateful 
for our faith-based education. You are ready to live as alumni of Holy Name High School. And as a 1979 alumnus myself, it's my privilege to welcome you to the very distinguished ranks of individuals who are the alumni of Holy Name High School and will always be alumni of Holy Name High School. As we begin a new era in the history of Catholic education in Berks County, we ask that Berks Catholic High School may be blessed with the spirit of the dedicated educators, the quality students, supportive parents, and faithful alumni that have been the hallmark of Catholic education at Holy Name High School. It is the final curtain call for our school, but now the spotlight shines on a new one, Berks Catholic. While the name of our alma mater may fade into memory and live on only in history books, our names, as well as the names of the alumni who have gone before us and paved the way for our successes, will endure. Just later. Dan Hassinger. I probably cry. Students who attend Central Catholic know that they're part of a family. Indeed, to be a Central Catholic Cardinal is to understand the tradition of climbing the marble stairs as a member of the senior class, the pride of battling for the Campbell Trophy every fall, and the spiritual growth of Mass in the gym. Not only must we say goodbye to our fellow classmates and teachers, but we must also say goodbye to our beloved alma mater. We have all left our own mark on the school as we pass through its hallways every day, and in many ways, we are leaving part of ourselves behind when it closes. 
But one thing that can never be taken away is the spirit that Central inspires within us. Riel M. Ginsley. Erica Gonzalez. Senior Class Vice President, Connor M. Savias. While the doors of Central Catholic will close and trophies and pictures will be removed, the spirits and the memories will remain in your hearts forever. Legacies never go away. You have been branded deep in your heart, a cardinal forever. While the central flag will be retired this evening and presented to Bishop Barris, it is our wish he will guarantee this flag will find a place of prominence in the lobby of Berks Catholic as a reminder of who we are where we came from, and that the spirit of Central Catholic Cardinals will forever, and Excelsior, remain. Clothier here, whatever that is. Nice, 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 nice. Where you got to put the work in, gentlemen. Where you got to put it in. So our first two steps are 45 degree angle back. First 
2015. You will be the first class to graduate by completing your freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year here at Berks Catholic. So you will surely make an impression for all on all of us. Our leaders are Marissa Fenning and Emily Charles. Okay. All right. We're gonna make a pit stop right here. Um, Caitlin Bennett. Okay. We are going to play. Tying in the shield. You may go out and try your locker combination. Right here, right? Left. your number. Go back. Right. What's your combination? And go right. Are you are you making sure you go around the second time? So this is a totally new experience to me too. So I'm learning the place just like you are. You are the ones, the first class, that will ever go through this school all four years. The first class. How are you? Nice to see you. Did you have a good summer? Yes, did you? Fantastic. Right there, good. just shake hands with you. Hi. Hi. What's your first name again? Hi, Marissa. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Okay. Nice. Yeah. The logo is fantastic. Love the shirt. They look awesome, guys. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you on Thursday. I hear the, uh, I'm looking out over at the St. Bernard in the court there. How does the court look? Pretty good. Pretty good. Shiny? Yeah. Wow. Let's we'll take a look over here. John, what do you think? I like it. It's nice, isn't it? Good to see you all. Good to see you. How are you? Good nice to see you. Great day. Wonderful yeah. to be with you.
With the school year upon us, a new tradition in Catholic education in Berks County will soon begin for over 700 students. The saints that will walk the halls of Berks Catholic today will join the ranks of the Cardinals and Blue Jays that have gone before them. And so together, as a community of faith, we gather to bless this school and all those who will walk its hallways. to expect on the first day of school. But just a couple hours in, uh, we met our friends. We incorporated the friends from the other school into our circle. And we've made so much progress since then that it's absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, thrown into a new environment, a completely new building, new people, new teachers, was very daunting. I felt as though I was starting my whole high school career over again, and it, I was my first day freshman year. And it was my first day senior year, but it was so different. To take two schools, you know, two Catholic schools in the city of Reading, and, and, and call it Burke's Catholic for everybody to be on the same page right away, you know, that doesn't happen. But everybody's working to get on the same page. You are going to have college level standards and expectations put on you. Uh, our seniors are, are having a tough year. And I feel for them. My, my heart goes out for them because for three years, you build up and you're looking forward to being the top dog, you know, as a senior and now the this hand has been dealt to them, you know, with the, the merger of the two schools and they come into the first day of school their senior year and they don't even know half the kids in their own homeroom, let alone, let alone their whole class and schools the size of Holy Name or Central Catholic, you would know everybody in the whole school. I think the hardest adjustments came from the seniors from Central Catholic because that holy name, we were still 
in this building, going to class in this building, going to practice on that practice field, going to play the games on that game field. And for the kids coming from Central, that's, they were coming over to where Holy Name did everything. Well, I think in the beginning they kind of generated towards each other from each of the schools. And I think as time has gone by, we see more friendships being made, um, more camaraderie between the students, between the Holy Name family and the Central family, and, and you see it coming together. Um, there's still a little stress. I think that's natural. I don't want to say that there was one particular day or experience that we all just decided, oh my gosh, we're, we're, all re we're together, we're a family now. I want to say that we all realized it over the course of the months that we've been together. Honestly, without knowing all the juniors in our school, uh, you know, the kids that are in my classes, some I don't know if they're from Holy Name or from Central Catholic. Right now, they're all from Burke's Catholic. After this year, things will begin to blend a little bit more than they, they are right now, but I think the, the seniors are doing the job of really bringing us all together. We need to announce we're gonna have a student council meeting on Thursday morning. The rivalries, it's just not there anymore. It's, I mean, we acknowledge it, that it existed, but we're one, we're one entity now. We're not, we're not two schools. She's out here, she's inside. Sit. 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 May they win the most important victory, eternal life with you forever and ever. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Marble Staircase is something that is particular to Central Catholic. It can never be, it can never be replaced and it can never be duplicated. But I know that we are trying to make some traditions for the seniors so that we have something as a new class to continue on for generations because it's so fun growing up and looking forward to that senior tradition. Just as all great traditions, it takes time to, for them to form. Um, I don't think you can just say, this is our tradition. Um, they just kind of happen. We were given the opportunity to get a class ring from Burke's Catholic, but um, I kept my holy name one. I'm a part of Burke's Catholic in plenty of ways already, and I mean, I'm still going to wear the ring. I'll probably wear that ring to graduation, but everything at Burke's Catholic seems to just hold a deeper meaning for me now. In about three years, nobody's going to remember much about Central and Holy Name. When this freshman class and the classes afterwards, a lot of the things that they remember about the old schools are going to be gone. And so I'm looking that this is a transition period, and it will be until all the graduates have gone through. And then after that, it's everybody starting brand new traditions, and we're laying the foundation this year. What I care about most, and most of the people I've talked to is, we want to have a Catholic high school. So we need to bring everybody together for a common cause, and that common cause would be to support the students. Our enrollment's over 700. There's a great feeling in, in the building and in the community. Uh, it's full speed ahead. There isn't any, uh, this is the way we used to do it anymore, um, whether you were from Holy Name or Central. It's now Burke's Catholic. So I think that's, that's the, the biggest thing to get used to is um, 
uh, not forgetting where you came from, but also remembering that uh, we're forging new traditions. I want them to think of a school that's on fire with the love of Jesus Christ and His church, a school on fire with kindling, a love for Christ-centered acad academic excellence, a school on fire with the Holy Spirit leading young people to their true destiny. They might not realize it immediately, but in the future they'll get to look back and say, you know what, I was as part of history, something very unique. And when their kids come here, they'll be able to say, hey, I was there the first year. I honestly still feel like Berks Catholic is my school because it is holy name. Like, it's central, it's holy name. I don't see it as two different schools becoming one. I just see it as my school already. Sure, my diploma is not from Berks Catholic and nothing I have besides a few t-shirts is Berks Catholic, but I still feel like I have some loyalty to Berks Catholic. I still believe it was the best choice for for the diocese uh, to close the schools, both schools and four on one Catholic high school. It just, there was no purpose for two, two high schools within 10 miles of each other. Sometimes I go home at night and I say, boy, I wish I was back at Central. And I wish we never closed. And then there are other times when I think back, I said, you know, the enrollment was going down, the building was old, it had to be due. It had to be done, you know, somebody had to do it. And I'm glad they did it all at once. A few final thoughts on, for lack of a better word, the dissenters who didn't think that this was going to work. It did work. Oh, alma mater, pride and home, we strive to make your greatness known. Your excellence unparalleled, and through your guidance we excel with joy of friends and family. We will grow the bond of unity, and when our days spent here are done, we'll conquer battles yet to come. We honor now the black and gold through actions that are true and bold. One faith, one heart, one voice, one soul. We're one in Christ. The saints who walk the halls of our Berks Catholic was opening his locker and there's like lockers on top of each other and there was a kid beneath him trying to open up his locker. Slam him in the head. The other photographer was videotaping me because I was there. So he got it on film and he showed it to me. It was the funniest thing. I was like, oh my god. You're right, okay. I got it.